Hello the boys and girls and welcome back to this brand new video. My name is Phil and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do this easy, simple and awesome looking star rating for your website and only using CSS and a little bit of JavaScript and jQuery. Alright, have fun watching the video right now and let's go. Alright the boys and girls, let's start right now with this cool tutorial. First things first, we're going to start with the HTML and the beginning is that we need the field set here and that's the main container for our five stars. We're going to do this with five stars here right now. And the first things we're going to do is we're going to create an input um, and we're going to say the type will be, that's very important, radial. We're going to give it an ID of um, field star number five, for example, because it will do five stars. We're going to say the name is equal to rating. And at least we get the value of, in this case, because it's five, five star five, we're gonna say value five, okay? And then we're gonna create a label, and we're just gonna say label for the ID of the input. So this will be field star five. And we're gonna say here something like class is equal to um, full, okay? What we're gonna do next is we're just gonna um, copy this line um, five times, so we just, great five stars so we're gonna say four three two one and the value will be four three two one and here again four three two one all right that's all what we're gonna do for the html part right now and as you can see now it just looks like this here right now you can just all right we just need to do one more thing we need to give the field set a class of let's say rating for example okay so back to the styles.css and um, we just start with the class of dot rating. And first things first, we're gonna say border set to none. So the border here will disappear. And we're just gonna say float to left. And at the last point, we're just gonna say margin. That's zero pixel to take out the standard margin, okay? So the next we're gonna do is we're just gonna say rating and we're gonna take the um, the input in the first child element of input and we're just gonna say display set to none okay so now they are gone the input is gone and what we're gonna do next is we're just gonna say rating again and we're gonna say label and we take a new before pseudo container and with dot, dot with double points and before and we need to say first things first here is to say content is set to nothing. And we're gonna say that the background will be, um, let's say something like yellow, okay? And we're gonna say width to make it visible again of let's say 30 pixel and height of 30 pixel as well. So now, so what we need to do next is we need to um, style the label. So we're gonna say rating and we're gonna declare something for the label. And here we're just gonna say border will be two pixel solid. And let's take um, again a yellow for the border. Border here right now. And we're gonna say display is set to flex. And then we just can say justify content will be center. And we're gonna say height will be 40 pixel or something like this. Uh, width will be 40 pixel as well. Ah, now you can see a little bit what happened here. So we're gonna say float set to right. Right now you see the stars, or better, the borders of the boxes are showing up. And then we give it a margin. Uh, so we're gonna say margin. For example, a uh, five pixel um, to every side, maybe. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm gonna say background um, minus color will be white here as well. Maybe it's a bit too light, a little bit darker. Let's take this gray here. I don't know what looks good, I don't know. And we're gonna say border minus radius set to 50% to make it round. All right, now it looks like this, and you have, as you can see, this, I'm gonna make it red, this stars here inside. So you just go to CSS Clip Path Maker. It's the URL of uh, bennettfeely.com, 
and here you just can grab out the star and here you see that's a CSS comment so here you say this you save this and now it's a star all right let's do this back to yellow now it looks like this again and what we need to do here because we, we declared this as display flags we just can say align minus self set to center so now they will be in the middle of the container okay cool now we need some more css code to um, hover them and to make them green if you hover them and that's a little bit of css magic here so you're gonna say dot rating um and you're gonna say not that's very important not checked okay and here we're gonna say the label if you hover this and you're gonna say dot rating not checked and here again you're just gonna say label hover you take the label out and you're gonna say background minus color will be let's take light green something like this light green here and that must be set to important okay cool so now if you hover this and you have the next one all the other one um, in, in front of them will be labeled as well so if you hover the the five star that's because that's the way by the way the we we begin with value of five not with one we take this direction and that's the reason why this works so well and what we need to do as well of course is we're going to say cursor pointer so now you have a better effect but of course if you click this nothing will happen here all right so what we need to do is one more thing we need to go to the rating class and we're going to take the input object plus the label hover and we're going to take the dot rating again label hover and here it's just going to say input checked oh checked and again label and the last thing we're going to say dot rating um here you say input checked and take out the label here again and we hover this and again label and what we're going to do is that we set the um, background to uh, light green again as important here and again you take cursor pointer i will first go to the last part here to the main.js and include some jquery by the way i included the jquery script in the head of the index.html so we're going to take out with the dollar sign we're going to take out the label and i'm just going to say dot click and if we click we're going to do here a function and inside this function um, we're just going to say um, that dollar this so by the way that's the label come on boy all right so this dot parent um, dot find um, we're gonna find the label um, and the parent the parent label and we're gonna change the CSS I'm just gonna say something like let's take background as a string here of course background minus color um, set to let's say for example red so I, I can show you what I mean okay and then we're just gonna say dollar this again dot CSS and we're gonna change the um, background color here again so we're gonna say a string background minus color and this is gonna be um, that's the light green we take light green we take okay and at least we're just gonna say um, something like dollar this um, dot next all that's cool jQuery function dot CSS and here again we're just gonna say background minus color um, set to light 
uh, green, I think. Okay, I hope this works. So let's check this. We are here, hover them, and if you click on the second star, it's wrong, written wrong, so we have to say background minus color. Ah, I see it. Um, here it's again something wrong, and now if you click this, they will stay green, of course. We don't need the red here. It's just gonna say, for example, gray or something like this. So um, if you click this, they will be gray or let's say black to make it visible here. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, three, four, two. Now it works really, really well. And that's done with this little CSS code here right now. And because this works so well, because we take here this this sibling sign, uh, let's call it the sibling sign, um, because it only takes the, the the sibling here, so it doesn't go deeper in the hierarchy of the DOM. It only takes the sibling one, and let's just say, if you hover the label and um, take the input, the next, the sibling of input checked, and then it takes the label again, and I changed the background to light green. All right, I hope you guys liked my video. If you liked my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more. Um, I really appreciate that if you write a cool comment and if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.